Hey guys, it's Hunter back with another Q&A video. Pretty self-explanatory. Let's just get right to your questions. Two questions. One, do you think boutique pickups are actually better? And two, do you believe in the Tonewood theory? For the second question, I answered that in a previous Q&A. You can go back and watch that because I am not getting into that again. Now, as far as boutique pickups go, I don't think you can say that they're objectively better or worse than the pickups from the larger brands. The only boutique brand I go for right now is Buddha because they're more affordable than the mainstream brands and I can spec them out in any way that I want instead of being stuck with set options. But would I say they're better? Uh, I don't know. Um, they're certainly built really well and it's hard to tell because everything sounds great through a dual rectifier. Why do you use a gate in front of the amp and in the loop? I use one in front of the amp so that way I get the cleanest signal possible coming from the guitar and I use one in the loop to get rid of any preamp hiss. I love my high gain amps but I hate the hiss especially when I'm tracking using earphones and it's going right into my ear so that's why I use two. Favorite rock slash metal bands from Atlanta? Thoughts on the historic slash thriving hip hop slash rap scene there? Ooh, that's a tough one. Uh, Seven Dust is awesome and they put on a heck of a show. Uh, Projected is really good. They're a super group consisting of members of Seven Dust, Tremonti, and Alter Bridge. Their second album is coming out this year and it's one of my most anticipated albums of 2017. One up and coming band that I really like is called Bridged Grace. They're on tour with Scott Stapp, I believe. Um, they're straight up hard rock, really catchy choruses, good stuff. Mastodon, not a huge fan of, but I really respect what they do and of course I love their guitars. And we also have Attila, which are good if you're into that kind of nonsense. Not huge into hip hop or the flourishing trap scene, but I pride in pretty much everything ATL and I think the environment is great. I'm a fan of anything that inspires passion, music, and creativity, even if it's for a genre that I'm not personally into. What is the difference between a duck? <laughs> I don't know, bro. Um, I'm sure this is some reference that I don't get. Still pretty funny though, you quack me up. European versus American metal? Uh, both, dude. I mean, in general, metal is just great. I tend to listen to more American metal than European metal, not because European metal is worse, um, but Lamb of God, Trivium, and Metallica all just happen to be American, not European. Hi there, can you please demo something else than Les Paul type guitars from time to time, like Schecter or ESP slash LTD stuff? You mean LTDs like this? This? Or non Les Paul stuff like this? 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 Nah, I know what you mean, dude. Here's the thing, and here's why you also don't see many negative reviews on this channel. I've mentioned it before, but it takes about 20 hours to write something, get it recorded, get it mixed, figure out what I'm gonna say, film it, take pictures, and then finally edit it all together. That is a tremendous amount of time to spend with a piece of gear that I don't like, and I'm pretty picky about my guitars. I love my Les Paul type guitars, and since those are the ones that I play most often, uh, those are the ones that I can talk the most about and give the most valid opinions on. So yeah, obviously when it's highly requested or I think it's really interesting, like the Snow Falcon or the Brent Hines Flying V, of course I'll demo it, but really besides the Snow Falcon, the most highly requested guitars tend to be Les Pauls anyways. So yeah, that'll do it for this Q&A video. I think I'm going to start doing shorter videos more often. I've been getting more and more duplicate questions and when the Q&A videos are longer, it's harder for people to scrub through and find questions that I've already answered. So yeah, I think that this way it'll be easier for you guys um, to go and find an answer rather than wait for me to make a video or respond to a comment. That being said, if you've got any questions for the next Q&A video, feel free to leave them in the comments, send them through Facebook message, or tweet them at me. As always, thanks so much for watching. You've been awesome, and I'll see you for the next video.